All right, so, so much pressure last night, world premiere. How did it go for both of you? How did you feel about it? Well, it was actually the first time that I'd seen it also. Yeah, um, me too. I wanted to wait to see it on the big screen. I think with the TV show, it's so rare that you get to see it on a big screen, but never mind such a big screen as that we watched it on last night. So it was very exciting. Um, and, you know, kind of quite humbling to be in that situation with with the, the Prince and all this incredible prestigious audience watching a show that we made and getting to share it with them. It's very exciting. And how about afterwards at the casino? Neil, you've been in a Bond film. Did you feel like you were in another one? It was. I didn't get to play. I didn't get to play any of the, any of the tables. But we had a little boogie though. We kind of we, we got yeah. we got the dance floor it was very moving. Glamorous. Yeah, we got the dance floor moving definitely. Tell me about working on Absentia in Bulgaria. Was it work, 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 and tense and tense and tense all the time, or did you get a chance to relax, hang out, to see the country? Yeah, we did. We really, because it was such an ensemble cast, we were all there for such a long time. We definitely had times when we were just hanging out, and we keep we've said this quite a lot already this morning. But Neil's a big fan of escape rooms, so we got this thing going within within the cast that we would all do escape rooms together, and Sofia in Bulgaria, where we shot it, happens to have an amazing selection yeah. of escape rooms. It's the rooms. European escape room so capital. So that was kind of a so big thing that we would do all together. So we'd get a day off and four or five of us would go off and do an yeah. escape room and see if we can escape. We might, I mean, team we building. obviously worked very hard, but we also yeah. had time to hang out. What's the most challenging thing, or what was the most challenging thing about shooting this show for each of you? Uh, for me, it was the fact that we block shot it. I mean, uh, we shot 10 episodes in 60 days, which is crazy fast. And we also shot everything out of sequence because we shot out every location. So it meant that you had to do the development on your character way ahead. You had to read and prepare all 10, uh, 10 scripts, follow the arc of the character for 10 scripts, and plot the whole thing out because you might be shooting a scene from episode nine, a scene from episode two, and one from episode five, back to back. And you have to make sure the arc of the character is fitting in with the right moment. It felt like shooting one big indie movie, but just over a really long period of time. But the beauty of that is that you knew the path that your character was going to go on, so you could plot it. Sometimes when you're doing TV shows, You'll get, you'll get an episode, you'll shoot that episode, and then you get the script for the next one, and you slowly piecemeal find character information out that it would have been useful to have at the start because you would have made different choices. This one, we had all the information, so you can plot a character really accurately. And what was it like working with Stana, both as an actress and as a producer on the show? Wonderful. I mean, she's a, an incredibly kind, talented, amazing member of our team, and that's what it felt like. It felt like a team. and. Yeah, it was. She's she's great. <laughs> yeah, there's no there, there was no real hierarchy on the show, which was one of the beautiful things that it, it could have easily been leader led with um, with Oded and Maria and Stana dictating, but it felt like an ensemble. We we're all in it together, collaborating to make the best show we possibly could, and everybody's ideas were valuable. Yeah. Carrie, you were also on Downton Abbey, such yes. a huge success around the world. Yes. What did you learn from that experience that perhaps helped you on this show? Um. You know what? Filming uh, Downton Abbey and filming Absentia could not be more different. <laughs> With Downton Abbey we have six months and we were shooting nine episodes over six months, doing two episodes at a time, working with different directors. We obviously had a huge cast but it was a very, very different setup to the actual filming of this. I guess the only thing that it could prepare me for is the international, the international side of you know, the appeal of the show. I mean, we're doing an international press day today, and that is kind of similar to, I guess, the reach of Downton. It's a very international show that we made as well. Yeah. International. International. Yeah. And, and I should yeah. say international. Yeah, you should a few probably say times. international. A couple international. Of times. Mm. Do you feel that the lines are blurry now between perhaps what it used to be of L.A., Hollywood, and then the rest of the world, and now it seems like things are more global? Oh, hugely. So. Everything's changed, I think. I think with the internet, with streaming services, a lot more product is getting made, and it's, it's not necessarily where it's from, but it is where the talent is. I mean, our production team are uh, Israeli, and they made an amazing show, False Flag, and that was what brought them to the fore to be the, the leads. Of, of our show mm. and that's I think that's wonderful it's becoming as as it should be a lot more global well there's just so many amazing storytellers all around the world 
And then Bulgaria is so used to having productions there. The crew were just so phenomenal. Everything, I think it was really international, just if I could sum it up in one word. Okay, so I said international a lot. <laughs> That's okay. You're at the International Television <laughs> yes. Festival. I know. Great, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank Thanks. you. Thanks.